Late October 1944, and the first Polish armored division is leading the liberation of the Netherlands. The next objective for Major General Stanislaw Marchek's division is the town of Breda. The early morning of the 27th of October 1944, Polish tanks and infantry started moving north, working through extensive German minefields. Early morning of the 29th of October, the attack began. German artillery fire was heavy, and the Poles fought off a counterattack at Dorst, a village just outside the town. The Germans began to retreat north, pulling out of the city. The Poles entered quickly and liberated the town. Because the Polish armored division moved fast to take Breda from north and south, and the Germans withdrew, the town itself was spared serious fighting, destruction of property, and high civilian casualties seen elsewhere in the Netherlands. Shortly after the liberation, the Polish division was quartered in Breda for the winter. Just after the war ended, the Poles decided to further cement their friendship with the city of Breda by presenting the Dutch people with a rather unique memorial. They gave the good citizens of Breda a German panther tank, which is displayed today at the Wilhelmina Park. The Poles had captured the tank intact at the Krupp factory and testing ground in Meppen. It's a very rare Alfs D model. Most of the Panthers on display in the world today are the later Alfs G models. No one is quite certain which unit the German tank actually belonged to, though it has some minor damage to the chassis indicating it may have seen combat. It is missing its divisional and tactical markings, though the latter were usually removed after D-Day for security reasons. The turret number 534 indicates the 5th Company, 3rd Platoon, and 4th Vehicle in that platoon, but the regiment is unknown. The tank sat outside for decades, slowly deteriorating, its interior turning to rust as rainwater got inside the tank. However, in 2004-5, the Panther was restored by the famous British collector Kevin Wheatcroft in exchange for its redundant engine and other components he required for his own Panther D restoration. Externally, the Panther now looks like new, and it is not due for a further restoration for another 50 years at least. Thanks for watching, and please do subscribe.